PSA Collector. What's going on guys? It's Matt with PSACollector.com back with another video. In today's video guys, low hanging fruit. I got a bunch of low hanging fruit sitting around. I need to make a video on it. So I'm going to show you guys. I haven't done one, done one in over a week. So here we go guys. The cards that I've been picking up, primarily baseball cards. I have basketball and football. However, I've been looking more and more into baseball lately. So I'm going to show you guys what I've been picking up over the past couple weeks. Now I made this video a premiere. Boris showed me the uh, how to do a premiere on your videos to chat with the audience as the video is being premiered essentially, okay? So look at me, look for me in the chats, you know, ask any questions, chat with the community, engage with the community, talk about the cards I'm buying. Are they a good buy? Are they a bad buy? The, was the price point too high, too low? Uh, yeah, guys, so I'm gonna be doing this more often, the, the premiering my videos. Also, I'm gonna be uploading these one day in advance for my paid members, okay? So they're gonna have this video one day in advance, 24 hour notice and uh, potentially go on eBay and look for some good deals before the horde comes after them, all right? So, without any further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump into this video. All right, guys, so starting off, I'm just gonna knock out this basketball. So I saw this lot of Kobe Bryant cards for $30, buy it now, uh, the Flare Showcase, 1998, 1999, and I went ahead and picked it up. So 298 and one 1999, row two, row three, and row three, I believe. So the more common ones, however, I'm not sure if I'm gonna get them graded because the surface on these were pretty questionable. Um, I'm not sure if $30 was a good deal considering the surface. However, I mean, Kobe Bryant, beautiful cards, guys, 30 bucks, so $10 each. Flair Showcase, I think one of the most underrated sets across the board. Uh, so very excited to get these. Not sure if I'm gonna submit them to PSA or not. Kobe Bryant legendary player uh level one goat in my opinion 2012 panini select first year of select i saw the popularity of this set going up uh, i pulled the trigger on the russell westbrook i paid three dollars for this out the door uh not bad russell westbrook guys his rookie year i believe was 2009 but first year select i think he he's already he's pulling out triple doubles like left and right so i think westbrook is definitely underrated player so I've been looking at him a little bit more and any 2012, 2013, uh, you know, stars and superstar players from those sets. I've been talking a lot about those sets on my channel and with Boris, Boris says as well with the hobby box, paid $20 for this. It's the die cut 2019 Panini Select guys, serial numbered out of 249, beautiful card, buy it now. Free shipping, $20. I went ahead and pulled the trigger on it. Now these are very difficult to grade. The centering on these are tough. The edges, the corners are tough. However, if it comes back a PSA 9, I'll be okay with that. I'll be cool with that because it's only 249 of these in existence. Second year tray. Uh, I mean, I would definitely be able to sell this and get my money back if it comes back a nine, I think. Uh, maybe even profit a little bit too. So that's the basketball, guys. Here's the football. Brett Favre, all right? 2001 Topps Chrome Refractor. I paid uh, $10 for this, including shipping. Serial numbered out of 999. This is the Drew Brees rookie year. Um, the set, I think, it has huge potential. Tons of Hall of Fame, tons of legendary players in the 2001 Topps Chrome football set. If you guys are looking for those old school goats, um, definitely some refractors to pick up from this set. Only 999 of each were printed. This card is beautiful, okay? The centering is beautiful, the surface, the corners. This is definitely gonna be a PSA candidate. Uh, as a kid, I love Brett Favre, so 10 bucks, I couldn't pass it up. More football. Uh, 2016 Select Dak Prescott. This is the first tier of the Select product. Serial number out of 49. I, I think I paid like $30 for this off comc.com. Uh, I picked the die cut up as well on COMC, serial number out of 75. And uh, these PSA 9s, okay, I got all these for under $40 as PSA cards. Serial number out of 125, die cut, Dak Prescott, 2016 Panini Select, light blue prism, rookie card, guys, beautiful card. Definitely, if Dak comes out the gate this season or whenever football starts, these cards, huge, huge potential, okay? Under $40 a piece, I can easily sell this, I don't know, maybe 70, 80, if Dak you know, comes out and performs. With the 2016 Select, 
Prism, guys, beautiful card. PSA 9, under $40. I mean, this these are one of my favorite cards from the 2016 um, football cards. I'm liking them more and more. I even like these more than the optic cards. Okay, so I got two of those, the Dax Silvers. I think those are already going up in value, so I can flip those and sell them and make money. Um, now the base, this one was only 20 bucks I paid because I bought all these on the lot and COMC and I saw this for 20, I said, throw it in the cart, why not? $20, PSA 9. These have a much significantly lower population than Optic and Prism, so I said, why not? Go ahead. And fingers crossed, Dak does good <laughs> this year. We'll see. If not, you know, not not huge loss there. He's been he's been okay, I think. He's been performing up to par since his, his debut in 2016. Uh, okay, on to baseball, guys. So I've been looking heavily into Pete Alonzo. I've been watching a lot of his hype videos, a lot of his uh, looking at his stats. He's just, he's already breaking stats, okay? So 53 home runs in his rookie year. Yes. Um, now, I've been talking a lot to Alex, less Alex, about which baseball cards are a good investment for new players. And he is cemented in the fact that the flagship tops set is the way to go. However, I like the Bowman Chrome, the Bowman Refractor, the first years, okay? Now, this isn't his first year. This is the 2017. So his first year Bowman is 2016. Uh, refractors were going up. I saw them selling. I bought a bunch. Uh, and uh, here, I'll just go over those first. So the Alonzo, I picked up, I, I was paying, on average, $40 a piece for these, okay? The first year Bowman Draft Chrome Refractor, Pete Alonzo, guys. Uh, 40 bucks on average. I got two more coming in the mail. I think these are dirt cheap right now and have huge potential. So I saw those selling. Um, I, I was having competition on getting those. And even the base chrome, even the, the draft, uh, the paper <laughs> Bowman, I, I, was, uh, I bought as well. I got some coming in the mail. So I saw those selling. I, I said, you know what? What's the next best thing I, that I can get for dirt cheap right now? So I said, what about his 2017 Bowman? Okay, now these are considered his prospect cards, I guess. Uh, I, I went ahead and pulled the trigger on this Aqua. I think 20, uh, 18 to 20 dollars for this, serial numbered out of 399. And I the purple, purple, I think 18 bucks, serial numbered out of 250. And the blue, serial numbered out of 150. I also picked up a green serial number out of 99 so essentially i'm trying to complete the rainbow pete alonzo 2017 second year prospect cards i'm not sure guys i'm still trying to get familiar with the new baseball products uh, i'm more heavily knowledgeable in the older baseball products and the uh, you know the older players uh with potential such as alex rodriguez okay I know there's a lots of controversy behind him and the uh, the, the one year suspension and you know the whole PED scandal. However, if you look at his stats, guys, A Rod is one of the best baseball players of all time, especially of our generation. Okay, and you guys saw me trying to break the 1998 Bowman Chrome box looking for refractors. I just got the other box in the mail. Super excited to go live and break that live with you guys. But you guys saw how hard these were to pull, right? these refractor cards, especially of the Hall of Fame and legendary players. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger, saw these at like 12 to 15 bucks um, on eBay each. I got them in the mail and they were impressively in, in good condition, okay? Uh, very excited to get these graded and you know put them in the stash for the future investment, okay? Long-term investment. I went ahead and pulled the trigger on this PSA 9, $35, I believe. I made an offer, he countered at 35, and I said, I'll take it, 35 bucks, guys. These are relatively rare, um, and I think not very difficult to grade if you pull them fresh from the pack. However, still you know, a little difficult to get a Gem Mint 10. So I said $35, I'm paying 15 for raw ungraded. You add an additional 10 bucks to get it graded, that's 25. I guess I paid an additional 10 have it already graded and have the headache over with uh, and I just think they're cool love the the Bowman Chrome refractors especially the 90s okay uh, uh, Albert Pujols guys Les Alex is um, 
got me on the pull hole strain. I was, I should pull the trigger earlier. He was buying the Bowman's. However, they are very sensitive and tough to grade. And I like this, these tops uh, cards, guys. I remember as a kid, pulling these from packs and chasing the pool holes cards. Uh, the, having the Ichiro and the pool holes on one card, I think this is a great card to get. I paid, I made them a $24. I paid $24 for this and I was very impressed with the condition. Look at the corners, the edges, the centering. I'm hoping this bad boy grades a mint nine, guys. Look at that. Very nice. And if you look and see what mint nines are going for, they're not cheap, okay? I'm thinking um, around $100 right now. And these, this is just the tops traded set, not the chrome. The chrome would be very nice, but I like the, uh, the paper sets. Uh, so we got a Chiro and Albert Pujols, $24. BGS9, Albert Pujols, tops traded, 2001 rookie card bgs9 guys the subgrades on the back this is uh almost a solid nine i paid 99 dollars, including shipping but i think i think this is a, this could definitely switch to a psa9 i'm thinking it looks good so albert pool host guys uh definitely looking at his cards more and more lately <clears throat> i've been talking to less alex a lot about him. He's he's from St. Louis. He's been following pool holes his entire career. Uh, so I'm excited to look at the other options with him and talk about the pool holes, uh, you know, uptick. Because uh, not many guys out there that I've noticed are collecting him. And I think he's so undervalued right now. Moving on, guys. 1991 tops Barry Bonds Desert Shield. You guys know how I feel about the Desert Shield set. One of my favorite sets, uh, period, of all time. It's from the Junk Wax era. Uh, I picked this up, $69. It had like 15 watchers, and not many sh appear on eBay. And when they do, they're hard to find. Now it's a mint, it's a near mint seven, but $69, guys. I think this has huge potential, you know, long-term potential. So I went ahead and pulled the trigger. Very excited to get this and add it to the collection. I have the All-Star Balance desert shield i think i have two of them actually actually i have one in mint nine and one in psa eight so super excited guys desert shield cards look for that gold foil stamp very rare very tough to find in high grades 1996 tops chrome barry bonds refractor guys very excited to get this uh, i paid i think around the same price i paid for the desert shield shield so 69 bucks beautiful card first year tops chrome very hard to pull guys very hard to pull these refractors from the top scrum set okay so super excited to get this and they're hard to find on ebay period let alone already graded so in a brand new psa case so i pulled the trigger on that very happy to get the bonds in the collection 1990 opg barry bonds gem mint 10 22 dollars i won this at auction OPG is very difficult to, to grade. The population reports are very low. And $22, that is a steal, guys. Okay. This isn't regular tops. Okay. This is the OPG set. Okay. Check the pop reports, guys. OPG cards are on the rise. People are catching on. The 1986 Sport Flix, uh, Barry Bonds. I think I've talked about this in one of my other videos. I paid $36 for this Gem Mint 10. It's is 86 it's an 86 Barry Bonds which there's not many Barry Bonds cards from 86 I saw it for gem in gem mint condition for $35 buy now or something like that under 40 pulled the trigger had to have it in the collection um, and I, I, I remember liking these cards when I was a kid these uh, I forget what they're called they're like uh, 3d cards but he actually has let's see let's see he has three stances okay it's hard to see in the foot the, the uh okay so there's one he, he, he hit the ball the second one is swinging and then the third one is a portrait so swinging and then whack bam out the park so there's three photos in those uh, barry bonds what set is this 2000 and or no 1995 fleer ultra season is best Gold Medallion Edition, guys. The Gold Medallion Edition. These are very hard to pull from the packs. I picked this up for around, I think, $10. And it's a clear acetate. I'm liking these cards more and more. Someone DM'd me on Instagram and asked me if these are, 
or he's he told me he's collecting them and asked me if I was buying more. And I'm like, yeah, if I see him for good prices, guys, this is awesome. From 1995, look at that beautiful artwork. It's a clear acetate. The top loader is not doing it justice, but I'm not going to take it out. But I like these seasoned crowns, the, the gold edition, gold medallion edition, guys. Check it out on baseballcardpedia.com, 1995 Fleer Ultra. They're pretty hard to pull up the packs. So very excited to get that for dirt cheap. The Thunderclap. Night this guys, basketball fans out there, what does this look like to you? The scoring kings, right? This is the only baseball insert that I found that looks similar to the scoring kings. Similar. Okay, this was printed two to, two years later in 96, I believe. Yeah. So 1996 Fleer Ultra Thunderclap. Now they weren't very hard to pull. However, guys, they are very sensitive. So if you see cards on eBay that look like they're minty or gem minty, I'd go ahead and pick them up for, you know, under 20 bucks. I paid $18 for one and 20 for the other. I think I may have overpaid. However, I mean, I just, I was excited to pull the trigger on him and get him in the collection. Okay. 95 Fleer Ultra Gold, Med Gold Medallion Edition. Hitting Machine, Barry Bonds, guys. Another very tough pull from 90s products. This is the first hitting machine insert of this the series that Fleer printed. Moving along, more bonds, lots of bonds, guys. Nice 1996 Tops Finest Refractors. Now these are the bronze refractors. They're more common, however, still very difficult to pull, very hard uh, to find in high grades. I took the coating off this one because it was all dingy, and look how good it looks after I took the coating off. That looks like a gem mint card. This one, I'm gonna, I'm yet to take the coating off, but once you do, man, that, that card looks pristine. As long as the back and the edges and the centering looks good, you should get at least a mint nine. Uh, but like I said, guys, be very careful because they are tough to find in high grades. Lastly, guys, I got this 19, actually A Rod. I've been picking up a 1994 A Rod SP rookie cards. Uh, this came in a case. I broke the case. It was like a generic case. It wasn't even like a. It was a. It was a very generic case. I don't even know who the company was, but I. I had to use my uh, the saw in my garage to cut the case open because it was. It wasn't like plastic. I don't know what it was. It was like a rubbery type. But I got it open, cut it open, got the Derek or A Rod out, and I know. Not much fan base around A Rod now. However, guys. I think in the future 10 years, people looking at his stats, they don't, they, they never watched him play. They, uh, they want, they want to collect the best of the best. They're going to look at A-Rod stats and be like, he, he's one of the best. So I think there's lots of potential for this card, his rookie cards in the future. Okay. Even now I've seen a little bit of an increase in popularity, uh, in his stuff. So lastly, guys, I picked up this 1999 Skybox Thunder clear acetate turbo charged set missing one card for $25 we got Jose Canseco Manny Ramirez Mike Piazza Mark McGuire Mo Vaughn Sammy Sosa Juan Gonzalez A-Rod and Ken Griffey Jr. guys all for $24 these are all going to be submitted to PSA I figure you know $9 a piece to have them graded maybe not all of them I might just send the A-Rod and the, the Griffey uh we'll see we'll see but definitely guys these are awesome cards tough to pull from the 1999 skybox thunder baseball product uh, i saw the whole set for 25 dollars. picked it up bang like i said in my other video i saw one seller selling one of these griffies for 25 bucks on itself so i you know you look for those 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 lots of cards um and you can really find, you can score big on when you find sellers selling lots for dirt cheap. You know, they don't know what they have. So there you go. I, there you go, guys. I mix it up. I'm trying to mix it up for you guys and keep you on your toes. You know, it's very difficult to find cards to talk about each week. So I'm trying to do these maybe once every two weeks. And if you're a member, I'm, I'm going to upload these one day before I upload it to the rest of the audience to give you guys a bigger head start because I'm... You know, I'm trying to focus on my members and my supporters and do the best I can. However, I've been really busy. We've been working on, you know, live streams and figuring out a podcast and stuff. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Well, guys, uh, let me know, in, let me know in the comments and let me know in the chat, which cards did you like out of this 
low hanging fruit video. Um, I've been picking up a lot of baseball. Uh, I'm still kind of figuring out basketball a little bit. Uh, I've been doing a lot of projects. I've been working with uh, Boris from the Hobby Box, Alex from Less Alex, the YouTube channels. So check them out. Uh, we're building a podcast. We're doing all kinds of live streams, engaging with the community, guys. Thank you for watching. Thanks for liking the video. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one, all right?